November, babies. So let's get into y'all sex reading. This reading is for 18 and over. If you are under 18, please get the fuck out. If you are around your children, please get away from your children. I think that's inappropriate to be watching anything related to sex when you are around your children. Also, if you got AirPods, put them in. All right. Hey, November babies. So uh, this is for November babies. If you are born in November, this is for you. I'm not doing Zodiac signs for these sex readings. I'm doing your birth month. Whenever your mother pushed you out of her pussy, whatever month you were born, yeah, this is for you. Okay, so November 1st to the 30th. Yeah, because November only has 30 days, right? God bless. So uh, let's get into it. I'm shuffling the cards. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's see what comes out for you guys, okay? 11.38 on the timer. Maybe uh, this will resonate for you guys. You guys can look that up. Number 50, 51, 52, and 53. You can also look those up. Every number has a meaning. You guys need to look up numbers that you guys see and that you guys are interested in, okay? Intrigued by, you know? Some of y'all have numbers tattooed on you. You don't even know what they mean. Maybe you should do a little research, all right? So I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's say the prayer. Angels, ancestors of the highest white light. Spirit, most high God. Please use me to channel nothing but truth and honesty in this reading for my October babies, okay? What are they unaware of at this time in their sex lives? What do you want to bring to the forefront of their consciousness? I'm being nosy today, spirit. And also, what, uh, what do they need to be open to as well, you know? Because I know a lot of people are very closed-minded when it comes to sex and intimacy and foreplay and all, all that shit. Um, and I know you just want to help broaden their perspectives, you know, and help them understand that you have to keep things hot, juicy, spicy, and wet, and, and, and horny and shit in your sex lives. Because if you don't, this is how the female cats become stray cats. And this is how the female dogs, yeah, with those phallics y'all got down there between your legs, become stray dogs. And even if you don't identify as he or she, I don't give a fuck. They, them, there, I don't give a fuck. Transgender, I don't care. All right? Apply the energy where it resonates. All right? So let's get into it. Spirit, November babies. November babies. Give me 20 cards, spirit. November babies. November babies, thank you. November babies. Okay, I think I got enough. All right, let's lay them out. Let's lay them out. I'm gonna be showing y'all the cards. I'm gonna show y'all the cards that I can show y'all, okay? The ones that don't have the titties out. If, if I can, I'll, you know, I'll block the titties. You know, I can, get cop I can get in trouble on YouTube if I show any nudity, okay? So that's inappropriate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we had 21 cards, spirit. We did it. All right, we better get into it. Mm. I'm just here drinking my tea. Okay. Three, three, three on the timer. First card here is... Oh, Lord of mercy, okay? Now, this card about to piss me off. Y'all about to piss me off, okay, November babies? Some of y'all want to fuck on top of a horse, okay? You want to ride the horse naked, you and your masculine, you in the front, your masculine behind you. And, um, yeah, of course, y'all have a towel down or a blanket because you don't want to put no cum and no fucking nut on these horses. These are God's creatures, okay? Amen. But, yeah, some of y'all want to fuck on a horse. The masculine, I mean, the feminine, you got so, oh my God, your titties look so good. <laughs> and some of y'all are um, tall, okay, the feminine. You're probably like 5'6 to 5'8, something like that. Um, hold on. Some of y'all can be, some of y'all can be lesbians. I can't see the person, I can't see if this is a masculine or a feminine. can't see if this is a feminine or a masculine behind this feminine energy. Some of y'all can be lesbians, okay? Shout out to the lesbian lesbians. Y'all want to fondle each other on top of a horse, okay? And um, if this is heterosexual, yeah, y'all want to fuck on top of a horse. Look, just be, don't, listen, man, because I'm not with that shit, all right? I love God's creatures, and I, I just want to spend time with them, rub them, brush them, feed them, 
Love them. Talk to them. Look at them in the eyes and see how they're feeling. Are these people treating them right? That's what I want to do. I don't want to ride hippos, elephants, giraffes, camels, or horses. That's not my thing. But some of y'all do. And you, and you actually want to take it to the next level and fuck on top of a horse. Listen, just don't hurt the animal. Please do not hurt the animal. All right? That's what God is saying. Thank you. The next card here is, okay, whew, we have the masturbation card. So a lot of the feminines here, you love to look at your, you have a big picture of your masculine, okay, or, your, or the masculine energy. Apply it where it resonates. It's somebody that you, you love looking at and they get your pussy wet. So you start playing with your pussy and you start, you start masturbating to this picture. Whoever, whoever's on this picture, I don't know. Y'all got to apply it where it resonates. But yeah, some of the feminine energies, y'all love to, uh, y'all love to do some solo play and you love to look at someone on a picture when you're doing it. Now, I want to let you guys know, when you guys are doing it's perfectly fine what y'all are doing. But understand that there is a risk. If you're not with this person, you don't want to be with this person. And you don't want to fuck this person. And you're just admiring their beauty. Their beauty makes your pussy wet, ladies. You need to know that you're performing sex magic. Anytime y'all are watching porn... Anytime y'all are watch, looking at pictures and people's Instagram, beating your meat, masturbating to, to these celebrities and whoever the fuck, okay? So your secret admirers, you know, you have a crush on these people. 11.44 on the timer. Also, y'all some of y'all are part of the 144 chosen ones. Um, y'all guys are performing sex magic. Yeah, it's sex magic. You're calling these people in to come and fuck you. You're manifesting these people to fuck you. I need you guys to know that. So whether y'all doing it unconsciously... I mean, whether y'all are doing it subconsciously or consciously, I'm just letting you know what you're doing, okay? But God says if it's making you happy and you're healthy and you're safe, you're free to continue to do that. Just understand the risk of sex magic. If you don't want this person, you're going to be bringing this person in. Let's continue. Okay, we got my threesome card coming out next. So a lot of you guys are into 707 on a timer. So a lot of you guys here are into threesomes, okay? You're into... Um, the masculine. Masculine, you're into having two women in the bedroom, okay? You like them both to suck your dick. You like them both to uh, kiss each other. You like them both to eat each other's pussy while you fucking one, fucking the other one, the dick in this mouth. Yeah, this is what y'all like, okay? God is saying, um, if, as long as everybody's safe, healthy, and happy, keep doing it. Yeah, these women here have perky, one of them have perky titties, and the other one has a sexy back. One of them is curly head, and one of them is straight head. Okay, God bless. Okay, yeah, now we have my, <laughs> you hear my spirit guide? <laughs> it's the little brown bird I was telling my October babies about. My little birdie friend, she sits right there on the branch by my window and she's just always singing and talking to me. <laughs> I love her. I hear you, birdie. <laughs> so we have the death card coming out. And um, yeah, it is about to be a death to a situation. Maybe some of y'all don't want to do threesomes anymore. And you're going to let the other woman go. And you just want to spend time with your one and only, your main bitch. Um, God is saying, that's okay. You know, you you this is your life, okay? So if you're not happy participating in these things that you were once happy doing, it's okay to switch it up and go back to the original, you know? God is like, do that shit, youngin'. Brother, brethren, whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> do that shit. You don't always, just because you like threesomes, that don't mean you're going to like doing threesomes throughout the entire year or throughout your entire life. You can do threesomes in the beginning of the year, from January to June, but then from July to December, y'all don't do no threesomes because y'all just like spending time with each other, fucking each other. Okay, so God bless. The next card is coming out. It's coming out in the upright. So a lot of you guys are into um, massaging each other. You love to massage each other, and you love some. He he even has like that whip, you know that like that that whip that looks like a. Uh, little tentacles <laughs> you know, some of y'all have that after your masculine massages you he likes to whip you too because you like a little bit of pain and, and he you know he whips you to the point where you know you're not bleeding okay and you don't have any bruises but you do have minor webs you do have minor webs because you do like that pain okay so you have to understand that material that they make that shit with if y'all got a good one they make it out of leather okay they make it out of that good leather material so um, God is saying, if this is things that bring you joy, <laughs> keep doing it, okay? Just have a safe word. Just have a safe word, okay? God bless. Okay, now what you guys, this is what y'all want to do, but y'all ain't doing it. Some of y'all want y'all, this is for the feminine energy. 
feminines, y'all want your masculines. First of all, you want them to get their muscles up. Some of y'all are dealing with very skinny masculines. They're very scrawny, okay? You wish they had muscles to pick you up. And um, just tell them, babe, let's start going to the gym. Word, go to the gym with your masculine. Y'all both gonna get in shape, period, straight like that. Okay, so when your masculine gets in shape and he's able to pick your ass up, you want him to pick you up like a, like he a football player, okay? Like he is the fucking hawk and you want him to fuck you. Ooh, my God, in the air. So God is saying, go ahead, go to the gym, get buff and uh, let your masculine fuck you, period. Okay, that's so sexy. Y'all getting me horny. Um, <laughs> um, okay, we got a jealous person alert. Jealous person alert. You and your masculine are in the backyard um, being intimate. Y'all not even fucking yet. Not yet. Y'all just laying next to each other on top of each other, caressing each other, and um, admiring each other's beauty. And it's this person here that's peeking outside of the blind, uh, uh, behind the curtain, and they're watching you. They're watching you guys as you guys are being intimate, okay? So maybe some of you guys left behind a creep because this creep is just fucking obsessed with whichever one of you got or maybe both okay but somebody's just obsessed and jealous and they just love spying on you in your new relationship okay so be careful y'all so um okay now what y'all need to work on spirit is saying y'all need to work on look at this card that's coming let me cover her butt okay so this is the card that's coming out next okay so if you can see what's going on in this card it also came out in reverse okay so i'm gonna tell you what it means in reverse but I'm going to let y'all look at it like this. What it means in reverse, it means that some of y'all want to bring aggression into the bedroom, okay? Just like we were talking about that little frolic shit thing that y'all like. Y'all like whipping each other and shit. Y'all also want to be 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 a little bit more rough. You want your, your big papa to fuck you harder, faster, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. And you want your, your woman, when she riding your dick, you're like, baby, harder. You know, faster, yeah, like that, mm-hmm. Yeah, hold on to me, hold on to me right here. Yeah, fuck the shit out of me. Yeah, y'all y'all wanna be, y'all wanna bring more more roughness to the bedroom. Y'all wanna bring that aggression. Um, Even when you're like touching your masculine or touching your feminine, you like to squeeze them. Yeah, you like to squeeze them like this, you know? You like to put that pressure on it. You know, not to hurt them, you know, and abuse them and choke them and kill them, no. You just like that pressure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like pushing your fingers into their skin, you know? You like to pull hair. This is that aggression. So, Spirit is saying, if y'all want to do it, do it. It's nothing wrong with that, okay? Yeah, keep the sex life hot and spicy, okay? Next we have, oh, I'm going to show y'all there. Did y'all see that? Okay, whoo, next we have, uh, okay, I don't even know what this is called, but some of y'all love to get your hair cut. Feminines, you have curly hair. Oh my God, excuse me. Some of y'all have curly hair. Um, or y'all like to wear, whew, God, excuse me. Or y'all like to wear curly wigs, okay, to my melanated uh, queens. Yes, we love us different type of wigs and we switch it the fuck up, period. Our protective hairstyles, period. So um, y'all love curly hairstyles. So your masculines, he's dreaming. Yeah, he hasn't done this yet. But he's dreaming of you just laying down in the bed naked. Your titties are out. You know, and you know how some of y'all have big natural titties. So you know how when you lay, you got natural titties, right? You know how when you lay down, one of the titties become lopsided or whatever. <laughs> but even if y'all got implants, shout out to y'all, okay? Your titties do not become lopsided, okay? Because they're, they're implants. But to my natural girls like me, I know my titties are always left to the left, to the right, and all that shit, okay? <laughs> because they have a mind of their own. But, um... Masculines, you want your feminines to lay down on the bed, naked, okay? Titties, ass out, everything naked. And you want to, you want to cut her hair. You want to give her a haircut. You want to give, you want her to be naked in the bed. And you want to give her a haircut. You know, maybe you want to trim her hair. Maybe you want to just cut her hair, give her a new style. Some of y'all are dealing, maybe some of the masculines are hairstylists. You know, and that don't mean that you gay or whatever. And shout out to the gays. Like, it doesn't matter. But it, it, maybe some of y'all are bisexual. You, it's just something about hair. You know how we have a foot fetish? You know how some of y'all have foot fetish, titty fetish, ass fetish, whatever fetish you got, right? Some of y'all have a hair fetish. You're obsessed with your feminine's hair. And you dream about the day <laughs> that she just laid the fuck down, butt naked, and, you, and she just said, baby, can you just cut my hair a little bit? Just cut the ends a little bit. You dreaming of that shit. You just, it's, I don't know. It's, I don't know what this fetish is called, but some of y'all, y'all, y'all want to, y'all are dreaming of this shit. Okay, so if the feminine is okay with that, 
um, God is saying do it. That's so sexy to give your lover a haircut, you know, and even the feminines. I know some of the feminines out there, y'all be um, shaving your masculine's hair. You be giving them a haircut. They don't even got to go to barbershop because you be shaving their head for them, you know. Yeah, you the new barber in town. What's good? So, um, <laughs> and yeah, shout out to the same sex couples and um, all of that, okay. Just apply the energy where it resonates. This is not just for heterosexual. I'm just reading the energy as I see it, okay? So if I say he and you was she, say she. If you're if if I'm saying she and you mean you want me to say he, then you say he. Period. Okay. If it's she and she, she and she. If it's he and he, I don't give a fuck if it's they or them, they. Say it. All right. I'm just reading the energy, okay, guys. So don't irritate me, okay? So the next card here is um okay this card is coming out in reverse okay okay this is the card i'm gonna show you guys because they're not they're not showing any um nudity okay it came out in reverse okay it came out like this this card to me is uh, my morning sex and very late night sex sessions okay it came out in reverse because a lot of you guys have not been able to have sex at um during the times that you want to you want to fuck your feminine in the morning before she gets up and starts dealing with the kids and going to work and say, baby, I got to do yoga. I got to go to work. I'm going to go to Starbucks. Oh, my God, baby. Y'all are pissed. The masculine energies are pissed with the feminine energies because y'all need to start making morning morning love, okay? Have that have that grand rise in love. You understand what I'm saying? As soon as you wake up, you immediately start playing with that girl pussy, you know? Massaging his dick, kissing him, sucking on his neck. Yeah, that morning, let me tell you, that grim rising sex is magical, <laughs> okay? Because it can take off the stress. It can take off um, the anxiety. It can get you ready for the day ahead, okay? So stop denying your partner's morning sex before y'all get up and y'all got to do the things y'all got to do. And also late at night, you know? Maybe what y'all should do is, I know some of y'all be tired. Y'all work so many hours of work. Time you hit the bed, you go to sleep. What you should do is, right, set an alarm. You know you're going to be tired when you get to work. It's 10 o'clock, you're ready to call it a night. Set a set an uh, alarm for three hours. So that'll give you time to sleep for three hours. And then um, and then when you when your alarm goes off, you wake up and y'all can have a... Hey, guys. All right, so I think we're back, okay? I have storage issues. So let's just keep going, okay? So yeah, we were uh, talking about the morning sex and the late night sex, okay? So Spirit says keep having um, those sessions, okay? Or schedule the fucking sex. I know sometimes scheduling that sex can be too fucking, it's like, what the fuck is, what, what is this, like a script? But look, if you gotta get it in when you gotta get it in. And if that means taking a nap and then waking up three hours later to get a good fucking session, do it, okay? Okay, let's keep going. So the next card here is, <clears throat> okay, the feminines. Y'all are out, just picture this. Y'all are out. <clears throat> y'all, excuse me, y'all are in the back. I just finished eating. Y'all had a good fucking salad. My God, it was so good. So, um, okay, y'all are in the backyard and y'all are sitting there about to eat you a bowl of oatmeal, okay? And your masculine comes behind you. Grabs your breasts, okay? Yeah, y'all got some sexy fucking titties, okay? Something about the areolas and the nipples that makes it just so beautiful, okay? So, um, and you're wearing like those knee-high tights and you're about to eat breakfast and your masculine comes in and he is just so in love with you, okay? All over again. And, um, you know, so he's rubbing on your breasts and then he starts playing with your pussy, stimulating your clit. And then he starts to finger pop you. And then y'all start fucking outside. But you didn't even get to breakfast. Yeah, you didn't even get to breakfast because you were, you was his breakfast, okay? But I'm going to need him to let you eat, okay? Because we need to eat, y'all, okay? I know y'all like, damn, she look good. I want to fuck her right now. Fuck the food. I, I'm, I'm your food. Yeah, you could be my food, but I'm actually still hungry too, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> for those of y'all that are foodies like me, y'all don't play about your food, okay, period? <laughs> okay, and then we had, yeah, this card came out for my... Um, my i think my september babies as well um y'all want to take a vacation and y'all want to fuck in like a waterfall y'all want to fuck in a pond in a lake something with na a natural body of water you want to skinny dip and then your masculine wants to pull up 
He's dreaming of pulling up on a horse, getting off the horse, coming to fuck you in the water, okay? Now, we're just I don't know where y'all going to be traveling to, but if that's possible, do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if it's not, he going to pull up anyway, and he going to come fuck you in the water. Because he it's something about a natural body of water, feminines, that he just wants to see you skinny dip, all right? He wants to see your body out there, you know, with the waterfalls. He wants to see you in a lake, in a beach, in a, in a pond, you know, something, an area that's private and you know discreet so you guys can have that privacy but this is what he's dreaming of okay so spirit is saying make it happen make it happen partner okay so 255 on the timer 256 257 258 yeah 259 300 okay period so okay now what y'all are into okay period what y'all are into y'all are into <clears throat> where am i am i up to november october babies right Am I up to October or November? Lord of mercy. I forgot, y'all, because I didn't... The storage shit was stressing me out. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to fix my storage. Okay. What y'all are into, you, you're dealing with a masculine that's into de dominatrix. Like, literally. He's into dominatrix, bondage, BDSM. He wants you to get on all fours like a cat, poke your ass up, three, three, three on the timer. He wants to pull your hair. Some of y'all have beautiful natural hair. He wants to pull that shit. And um, he wants you to poke your ass out. And he wants you to look away as if you've been a bad girl. And he wants to beat you, okay? Yeah, he has this long whip. And he also has this sword over there. And there's people that's watching. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, somebody's watching. I think it's your ancestors. <laughs> I think it's your ancestors. I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, the ghosts, the ghosts are watching, okay? <laughs> okay? So just know, when y'all getting freaky, your ancestors can see you, okay? <laughs> okay so um what y'all need to work on y'all need to work on because this card is coming out in the reverse this is nine of wands in reverse okay so let me show you there's no nudity here this is the card but it has came out in the reverse so y'all guys need to work on having those um those one-on-one -on -one moments go take a walk go visit a farm the zoo something like that go visit a animal sanctuary a shelter um something that's beautiful that has animals there that you can be amongst the animals the trees the grass and um, you guys just need to sit there and have a conversation. That's all. You guys don't always 12.42 on a timer. You guys don't always have to have conversations in the house, in the car. You know what I'm saying? Go in nature and have a conversation. It's going to bring you guys' energy down. It's not going to be no yelling, no bickering, no stress. Because na what nature naturally does, naturally, n nature naturally soothes the soul. Naturally, um, nature eases stress and shit like that, okay? So y'all guys need to do that. Okay, next we have, oh God. Now we have here this jealousy card or this fucking weird shit. This is the weirdest fucking card I have in this deck. It has this emperor here sitting on a fucking couch. And he has this young, sexy woman um, getting ready to suck his dick. Okay. And there's this old witch over here. This old witch or this can be this this husband, this uh, emperor. He can be married to this this older woman. You know, he's an older man. But he, he likes these younger women to suck his dick. Okay. So, um... Yeah, she get the younger woman. She's so pretty. She has a perky ass, dimples in her back, big, 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 voluptuous titties. Okay, she's very sexy hair, long wavy hair, and she's about to suck this emperor's dick. Okay, and there's somebody watching behind the scenes. Yeah, it looks like a witch, or it looks like um, it can be this this masculine's witchy wife. Okay, period. And um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on in this car. This shit, she's sneaking, like she's fucking sneaking. She's like, she's like, yeah fuck this um young girl and bring back that energy to me okay so yeah some masculines are um they're older and they have these older wives and their wives are jealous of the younger women that the masculine likes to fuck okay so what these witch these with their witches this is what they do right they let their husbands go and sleep with younger women right and when the husband comes back they know because they're a witch the wife right and the husband's probably a warlock okay pretending to be a fucking emperor and they, they, they let these, uh, when the husband comes back, they sleep with the husband. Now, you don't understand what this, this is very serious right here. This is about black magic and um, siphoning of energies and shit like that, okay? This is very serious. You guys need to listen to me. If y'all are having sex with married men, these married men are taking your energy back to their wives that are ugly, fat, broke, busted, and disgusted. They're old wrinkly and shit and yes i don't have nothing wrong with aging and shit like that but it, you don't do this you don't you sitting here letting your masculines have sex with these younger women so you can siphon their energy like bitch if you're 53 embrace the fact that you're 53 
If you're 60, embrace the fucking fact that you're 60. Stop trying to, stop trying to fucking slow down the evolution of life. Life is about growth. Grow the fuck up. And for those of y'all that are out here being these mistresses and these side hoes and shit like that, you need to know where your energy is going. You think it's going to the masculine only? It's not. When the masculine gets home to the wife, the wife fucks him and sucks him and takes your energy from the masculine. So in reality, the masculine is not winning. The side bitch ain't winning. You know who's winning? The witch. The witch is siphoning all of y'all energy. All right, let's keep moving forward. We got the next card here coming out in reverse. It is... Oh, this is my passionate um, passionate uh, kissing card, okay? Some of y'all love to kiss. You love the way your partner's lips feel. You love the way they kiss. You just think that they are the best kisser in the world. Spirit is saying, yup, keep it up. God bless. Okay, now also, okay. Yeah, some of y'all are really into dominatrix, BDSM, and dominant and don't and all that shit. A bondage because the ace of swords is coming out here in the upright. So this woman here, she's tying up her man with handcuffs to the bed. Um, she has on a sexy outfit, and she's about to do whatever the fuck she wants with him. So if these are things that y'all are into, God bless. Keep doing it, okay? Just be safe uh, and put a safe word in place. It's very important for you guys to have a safe word in place for those of y'all that like to do those certain type of kinks and uh, quirks and shit, okay? God bless. Now, the next card that's coming out in reverse is my Sleeping Beauty card. The masculine or the masculine energy here in these relationships, these situationships and marriages want to watch you sleep. Some of y'all <clears throat> females, females are always bitching about, come take a nap with me, babes. Go to, you're not tired. You don't want to go to sleep with me. And sometimes they're really not, you know, and sometimes they, they are, but they want to stay up and they want to watch your ass sleep. Like they're so fucking enamored by your beauty. Literally, like you're sleeping beauty. Even when you sleep, you look like the baddest bitch. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, uh. Just just go to sleep first, okay? Let them watch your ass sleep. And then, um, yeah, that's going to make them happy. And then they're going to watch you for a couple minutes, whatever the fuck. And then they're going to go to sleep too, okay, period? So, yeah, that's what some of y'all are into. Okay, some of y'all recently cut off a uh, magician energy. Magician energy can be um, any sign. It, he literally can embody any sign, but this is a masculine energy. This person here is very masculine. He's, um, he's very buff and macho and shit with muscles. He probably has a uh, shoulder length hair. Okay, he could be Caucasian. He doesn't have to be. He could be Latino, Asian. Um, he can even be um, melanated. He could be a mel melanated king. He probably got locks, braids, or he just wear it straight out. You know, he, he embraces his curl pattern. Whatever it is, the point is, this person here loves the color red. Okay, the color red signifies power, money, and respect. This person here is mad that they can't dominate you, okay? They can't have your money, they can't have your power, and you don't even respect them. Yeah, you cut them off because you've seen that they were in this type of energy. You know the type of person that this magician here is. This person is sick, literally. They, yeah, they're sick. They're like, yeah, they're fucking gone, okay? Yeah, this person here wants to lock you up in a cage in a dungeon, chop your head off, beat your ass, fuck you good, okay? They're just sick. They're sick. How can you fucking love somebody but hate them at the same time and want to kill them? Like, that's called a fatal attraction. That's called sick. Yeah, this person is sick and you cut them off. Okay, so God is saying, keep moving forward. God bless. And the last card here on the board is, it's coming out in reverse. It is my Six of Pentacles card. The Six of Pentacles card here is um, about food. Some of y'all want to bring food into the bed. Okay, you want to bring vegetables and fruits into the bedroom. Okay, and you want um, you want to surprise your, your masculine or the masculine energy that you guys are in relationships with. You know, you want to sit on the couch, you want to have your titties propped up and popped out, and um, you want to <laughs> you want to be eating a fruit, regardless of what it is banana, strawberries, and apple. And um, you know, you want to eat it, you want to eat your fruit. Okay, get that fruit intake. Yes, ladies, what you eat is what you taste like, period, what you smell like, what you are, and um, yeah, so. Y'all want to have your titties out, eating your fruits, and then as soon as you hear your masculine coming up the stairs or putting that key through the door, you pop them titties out and you start rubbing the fruit on your titties. <laughs> you just want to have a hot, passionate session with your person, with fruits included. And um, yeah, you want to rub the fruit on your, on your titties and you want to put the fruit on his dick. You want to suck the juices. Or, I mean, you guys want to bring food into the bedroom, okay? So, um... All right, guys, this is all that I have for you guys. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm sending you all love and light. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love. Bye.